Hi, beautiful. Something I learned very quickly growing up with a lot of friends that were girls, also known as girlfriends, not to be confused with the girls that guys date. I did that a couple times. It didn't work out for me um, and now we're here. But besides that, I found out that a lot of girls don't know which hairbrushes do what, which hairbrush is best for your hair type and which brush is best for your desired style. I know I had one friend that would use a ceramic round brush to detangle her hair after coming out of the shower. You know who you are and I'm scarred from that. And I know she's not the only one who's done that. So stop. Today, we'll be going over some of my favorite hairbrushes to use for both curly hair, wavy hair, and straight hair. I also wanna mention quickly that if I do not mention the brush you currently have, then I probably hate that brush. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know everything. So if the brush that you use is not in this video, then I probably just don't use it in real life. Doesn't mean it's terrible, doesn't mean it's bad. It just means that it's not something that I find to be necessary or ideal for any hair types or textures. I've used a lot of brushes in my life, have a lot of experience with brushes, and these are my favorites. Let's get into some brushes. Let's do this. And by the way, you guys, I will do my best to link as many of these items I can below so that if you would like to purchase any of these items, you can with the links provided. Firstly, let's go over some of my favorite combs. Firstly, we have, ooh, the wonderful world of the rat tail comb. The rat tail comb, oh, this girl, ooh, she's great for hair styling, she's great for hair coloring, but we're only gonna go over the styling benefits today. This is great for sectioning hair, for braiding. This is great to get really nice teasing or back combing in the hair to add volume. Because the teeth are so close together, you can really get that back combing really tight. And it's great to get those clean, perfect sections you love and that are so satisfying. This is just a great little detailing tool. The regular comb, it is half wide tooth and then half is very, very close teeth. All right, so this comb is ideal for haircuts because you can easily get those knots out with the wider side and then you can really perfect the hair and smooth it out with the closer teeth. However, it is nice to use for styling purposes because of the fact that you can get such a good grip on it. And with the rat tail comb, the grip isn't as nice and as thick as this one. It just depends what kind of grip you want. You know, you can totally use this to back comb. Pretty versatile tool, great for many things. Just a great thing to have around. The wide tooth comb. Ooh, oh, <laughs> The wide tooth comb is essential to combing out knots in your hair when your hair is wet. This is great. This is going to be super gentle on your knots. It's not gonna pull your hair. You can work from the bottom up. That's important. You have these really wide spaces in between the bristles. You're not gonna get much pulling. It's gonna be pretty gentle on the hair. This is also great to use in the shower with a hair mask. You can distribute the hair mask nicely throughout each hair strand and get it very even. I also love to use this comb when I'm using hair products on a client. Spray all the products in, get all that foam in, get all that mousse in, get all that whatever you're putting in their hair and then brush it all through. I love to distribute hair products throughout the hair with a wide tooth comb. Next, we have a teasing brush or a teasing comb, you could call it. Now, I like to use this as more of a tool to brush out my teasing. Typically, I'll use a rat tail comb and then I will use my teasing comb to brush out the back combing that I had previously put in with this brush. And that's because this brush does a really nice job of just smoothing out the hair and not detangling it. When you're back combing, you do wanna keep those tangles in there because that is what's creating the volume. So this is a great brush to just go over the top of your hair with and just smooth out that teasing. And because it has boar bristle brushes, it is great at adding shine and just gently detangling and not pulling your hair and also keeping the volume intact. Now that we reviewed all of the combs, let's go over detangling brushes, shall we? Now, I'm sure most of you guys have a detangling brush at home. They are amazing. I mean, it took a long time for people to catch on to this, but brushes that are really bendy, the bristles are super bendable, those are amazing for brushing out wet hair. Great for brushing out really, really matted hair. Because the bristles are so bendable, you can really get in there and it won't pull out your hair and won't be too aggressive. However, I have seen people use brushes like this aggressively and it's concerning. Be gentle with your hair, you guys. You show your hair love and your hair will show you love back. 
okay? So let's be gentle with it and not put too much pressure and yank the hair when we're brushing with these brushes. And again, this is the same sort of brush, but a different sort of handle on it. These ones are great because, you know, they're still really bendy. The bristles are really soft and you can get a nice grip on it. These are pretty essential to anybody's brush collection. Great little items here. I love you, I love you. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Okay, bye. Oh. And what's this? Hello, 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 hello. Hi, cuties. <laughs> Welcome. These are ceramic round brushes. These are, oh, essential. I don't think I could live without a ceramic round brush. These are amazing. I use these on most people, okay? These are ideal for that amazing glam blowout moment, all right? Because this is ceramic plated, it is going to heat up and sort of act as a gentle curling iron because when the blow dryer hits the brush, it heats up and then curls the hair. So you're gonna get a lot of volumizing benefits with this. You're also gonna get a lot of curling benefits with this. And depending on what size you go with, a smaller one will give you a lot of curl a medium size will give you less, and a larger size will just give you a bit of a bevel on the ends and a lot of body and a lot of volume. You can also use these to really smooth out your hair, sleek and straight. Just avoid rotating the brush a lot and use it more as just a flat brush. It'll still give you a little bit of bevel, but you can also use these to make your hair straight, but it's never gonna be pin straight like how it would be with some other brushes we'll go over soon. But these I really only use if I want the hair to have nice body, nice volume, or nice curl. Great item, super essential, probably my favorite. You can really make any style with a ceramic round brush. And also most round brushes come with this attachment on the bottom. So you can actually part the hair without a comb and this goes right back inside. A lot of people don't realize that these are here. I sometimes forget, but yeah, that is actually to part the hair so that you don't have to put down the brush or the blow dryer and pick up your comb and it saves you time and effort. The Boar Bristle Round Brush. Now these are natural bristles. Yes, they are from Boars, okay? These ones that I have are my absolute favorites. This is the Ibiza brush, a great brush. They are a little pricey, however, you get what you pay for. Now we have a more bendable one, we have a stiffer one, but in general, these are great to really smooth out the hair. They take a little bit more effort and patience. It definitely prolongs my blow dry a little bit, but I'm okay with that if the result is better. I typically use these on people with very frizzy hair, very curly hair that would like a straight, sleek look, or a look with nice body and bevel, but really it needs a lot of smoothing. These also provide a lot more grip than the ceramic brushes do. With the ceramic round brush, it has a lot of slip where these have a lot more tension. And I appreciate that when I'm trying to blow out curly hair because I need that tension to get that curl released. These do not heat up like the ceramic brushes do. It just takes a lot more grip, a lot more strength, and a lot more pulling the hair and getting it nice and taut to then blow dry and straighten in place. But the boar bristles are known to add a lot of shine and a lot of health to the hair. These bristles are also known to distribute oils throughout the hair very nicely. Sometimes a very tricky brush to use, but very handy, especially for you hairdressers out there. This needs to be in your toolkit and you need to get used to using these. It's hard at first, but it pays off. Great brushes. I'm obsessed with these. We're cruising our way through this. <laughs> I love it. Up next, we have a paddle brush. A paddle brush. F paddle brush, it's supposed to show up. It's supposed to pop up when I, it's supposed to just appear. Where is it? Uh, I actually cannot find my paddle brush anywhere. I don't use it a whole lot, honestly, but it is a great tool. I don't do a ton of straight blow dries with paddle brushes, but if you're the type of person who loves to have that really pin straight hair, girl, use one of these, a paddle brush. The nylon bristles on a paddle brush are great for smoothing out hair, and also the fact that it is completely flat and there is no bevel on the brush, it's going to ensure that your ends have no bend to them and they are stick straight. These are amazing, really great for blowing out hair straight. They're super easy to use, great brushes all around. I have like a million of them and I can't find one of them, so that's good. Okay, up next we have my most expensive brush. 
that I own by Landslide, which is the Mason Pearson brush. A lot of you may know what this brush is. It is a whopping $240. It will last you a lifetime, so it's worth it. But, you know, if you wanna invest in great hair, a great brush to have. It's a classic brush. It's apparently been around for over 100 years, which is crazy. I don't know how that's even possible, but all right, well, We'll go with it. This brush has a mix of nylon and boar bristle brushes that is just the perfect length, the perfect density, all around a great, perfect brush. This brush is amazing for just daily brushings. I wouldn't use this to blow dry. I wouldn't necessarily use this with any heat tools because baby, you wanna take care of this thing. Heat is not good for it. I actually don't know if that's true, but I, I just wouldn't use heat with it. I use this as more of a brush on hair that has already been styled or just people at home who wanna brush their hair at the end of the day or in the morning when they wake up. The reason this is so great, these synthetic brushes in here do a great job at adding shine to the hair, as well as the bore bristle brushes, which is amazing for distributing oils throughout your hair strands. Taking the brush from root down is gonna make sure those oils get distributed nicely and you don't have like an oily root with dry ends. A lot of the issues with having an oily scalp can be resolved with the proper brush because a a lot of people don't know how to distribute their oils throughout their hair strand correctly. Flip your head upside down, brush it out from roots to ends, do it on the top, really get in there and brush until that oil starts to dissipate. This is also known to help with scalp circulation and stimulating the scalp for new hair growth. All around, just a really great brush that is just, you know, been around for hundred years and people have tried it and people love it. All right, let's move on. The Denman brush, also a classic. I don't know if this one's been around for hundred years, but something like that, I'm sure. I mean, this, this one's been around for a long time too. A staple, a classic. This is great for every hairdresser. Now this is a more advanced brush, so I would recommend it for hairdressers. However, at home use, it's a little more difficult, but you can totally do it if you're like willing to try and learn. This brush has an amazing weight to it. It's so small, yet they put a weight in there to weigh it down and make it feel very luxurious and give you a nice weight in your hand so you don't drop it. Um, I also just love the length of the bristles. I like that there's seven rows, it's not too wide. You can get really close to the scalp. It doesn't snag on the hair, it doesn't pull. There's also such a small bevel to the brush. So you can get that really nice, sleek and polished ends. You can bring the ends under or you can blow dry them very pin straight. It's a great brush for shorter hair or people with curly hair that don't want their hair to snag on their brush. You'll never get snagging with this, but also you get nice tension because it has this rubber base on it to give you just a slight amount of tension so your hair doesn't completely slip out of the brush. A great brush for many reasons and many uses. And lastly, we have the round paddle brush. It is a nice, beautiful size. It has a mixture of the natural bristles combined with the nylon bristles, which gives you great smoothing and great detangling properties. Also, these are just great for that flat beach wave look. If you're trying to do it with a blow dryer, you can totally get it done with this thing. Really get good with your hands and spinning it around. Once you can do this, you can do anything. That's it, you're just gonna be able to do this. <laughs> Again, though, it's gonna be a little bit more work because there is no ceramic component to it, so it does not heat up. A great brush to keep your hair healthy and smooth and shiny and add just a little bit of movement. Woo! Oh, I'm sorry. And now lastly, let's go over which brush is best for which hair type and what your hair goals are. Are you trying to get your curly hair straight? Are you trying to get your straight hair wavy? We'll go over that. Firstly, let's go over combs. For hair that is straight or slightly wavy, a detangling brush is great to brush out wet hair. However, before you brush out your hair, please use a conditioning mist such as, oh my God, that's so weird, I have one. It's called Hydromania. And for curly haired people, if you're trying to get your hair straight and smooth and that's your desired result, use whatever comb or brush. A wide tooth comb is totally fine or a detangling brush is good too. Because you're trying to go and blow it out later, it's not really that important which brush you detangle with first. However, 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 if your goal is to wear your hair completely curly and in its natural state, please don't use a detangling brush for brushing out your hair. Use a wide tooth comb. This is gonna make sure that your curl stays intact and you don't brush it out and mess it up and make it all frizzy. 
You're welcome. Now, if you have straight or wavy hair and you have insane amounts of frizz, you just feel like you have the frizziest hair ever, you're like, get rid of it. Go with a natural bristle brush. This will help a lot with that frizz. Before you blow dry, spray some force fields. I swear that's all the product placement I'm doing today. After that, I'm done. Um, force field protects your hair up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit and also it's gonna provide a little bit of hold, a little bit of detangling. It'll be really great for us. Make sure you shake this before you use it. And also a little goes a long way. Don't tell me I never told you. And then you're good to start blow drying. However, if you know, your hair is not that frizzy, but it's straight or wavy to start and you really want some bouncy curls, well, this is not, well, this could do it for you, but it's gonna be a lot of work and you just don't need to. Our ceramic round brush. This is great for making that amazing volume, like I mentioned, and you're gonna get a lot of smoothing on your wavy hair, and you're gonna get a lot of curling benefits on your straight hair. So use this if you're trying to blow out the damn hair and make it curly or very voluminous. And if you have straighter wavy hair or you have very curly hair, use a paddle brush to get it very smooth and straight. Use a tail comb to make partings in your hair. This is great for braiding curly hair. This is great for braiding any hair or making really nice scent of parts or getting a really nice part for your ponytail. We're just really smoothing out the hair with that comb because the bristles are so close together. You can really get that ponytail really snatched. Great for all hair types and textures. And again, if your goal is to wear your hair naturally curly and you don't want to blow it out, use a Denman. Oh my God, if you are a curly haired girl and you don't own one of these, they're just like perfect for curls. They are made for curls. You take that little curl, you know when you have that little curl around your neck and around your hairline, you just go like this with it and twist it and twist it down and it makes that perfect corkscrew curl and just really makes it almost oh, just so pretty looking. But you can go around all your hair and go like this and reform that curl really nicely before you diffuse or air dry your curls. Just an amazing, tool for curly hair people. Also, people who have, say, a bob, great thing for you. It's a great brush for you because you can go in and give it a little bit of bevel. You can make it really straight. It's so small. You can get it in those small places. You can get it in that short hair. It's just a really great brush for those two things. And say if you have straight hair or wavy hair and or curly hair and you're okay with brushing your curls and you just don't wanna do anything to your hair or you're in between days of styling your hair, it's on the second day, you just need to brush it out. Please use a Mason Pearson brush, great for distributing oils. Like I said before, great for just maintaining your look, reforming wave, smoothing everything out. Perfect for all hair types and textures if you're okay with brushing your hair. I know you girls with curly hair, you can't do that a lot, okay? or also get frizz. But if you can brush, Mason Pearson. Or anything with a mix of nylon and boar bristles. And boom! Those are some of my quick tips for you guys when using some of these brushes, what to use them for, how to use them, what hair types are best for which brush. You know, I could keep going on for days. If you wanna learn more, please just Google the brush that I talked about. It'll tell you every single little detail about the brush. I don't have time to go over that today, but I went over my most important thoughts about each brush and each thing it's great for. And I hope Hope that I expanded your view on brushes and why they're so important and so useful if you use the correct one for the correct situation. I swear it can really change up your hair care routine and make things a lot more simple and streamlined. And make sure you guys follow me on all the different social media platforms because I am everywhere, man. We got TikTok, we have Instagram, we have Twitter under Bradmondo NYC, and then we have a Facebook page, and we have a Snapchat show under Bradmondo. Also, you guys can shop with these two products you saw in today's video at xmondohair.com. It'll be linked below. Oh my God. Also, follow us at xmondohair on Instagram. We have a new product launch coming up very, very soon. We announced it, so go check it out. And that's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. Don't forget to live your extra life, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. This is Glitterati, our styling serum. Glitterati will deliver hold, shine, 
and lightweight hydration combined with the most beautiful touch of pink sparkle. Glitterati can be used on any hair type or texture. We've also added argan oil and chamomile extract to help strengthen your hair and just make it feel and look luxurious.